Hey guys, so I'm recording from my iPod because I'm going to do a baking video. I'm going to make some brownies. <coughs> and um, as you can see, I've already preset the oven to 350. It's heating up. Yes, we have one of those ovens. And I've already added all my ingredients to the bowl. Doesn't that brownie mix look good? Um, now I just have to find some place to lean my iPod against while I mix. So I don't... That works. And yes, I am still in my pajamas. There's a glare from the light. Hold on. I'm so happy. So I'm just gonna mix the um, oil to it's half a cup of oil, quarter cup of water, two eggs, and the brownie into the brownie batter. Um, a lot of people don't like making brownies because they. Screw up, find some way to screw up. Like, I made brownies the other night, and I was, um, Friday night when I posted I work at a library. Um, but I forgot to add the oil, <laughs> so I ended up taking, I had put the batter already into my pan, and my pan was already greased and everything, so I ended up taking it all out and just adding the oil and mixing the oil in and doing it like that and I was like oh my god I feel so stupid cause that's like um and I don't usually bake or anything I'm not a baker I'm not a cook I'm not a chef I'm not a baker but I was like I want brownies so I'm gonna make brownies see look at that chocolate covered fork these are um I call these my super secret super chocolate brownies because I add like chocolatey goodness to them Yes, I just said chocolatey goodness. Like, that's what makes them so good. Like, okay. Look, I'll sh Oh, no, the fork went in. Okay, look. We're just going to take a trip into my pantry. Um. See if we have any chocolate chips. With my luck, we won't. Sugar cookie mix. And yeah, like I said, with my luck, we don't have any chocolate chips. But usually what I do is I add extra chocolate chips to them to make them extremely scrumptious. So once you've whipped up your batter and your... It's all whipped up. What you're going to do is pull out a pan. Now, I'm not sure if the pan I used the other night it has been put away. This is it. Okay, I like to use these pans. The ones that are like the 8x8. And then this is what I do. And this has always been the way I make my foolproof brownies. I take the foil wrap out and then I line my pan with the foil. Like... So, pull off a piece, and then put it into the pan. And make sure you leave enough on the side so that you have a handle to pull it out of the pan with. And then just fold it. Because this is what your pan should now look like. It should have that foily. And then what I do is I go and get you can use one of two things. Um, I like to use Crisco but you can use like cooking spray butters for baking. So when you grease your pan what you're going to do is take a paper towel and kind of like make um kind of ball it up and take a nice big thing of the Crisco and just like put it onto the pan like rub it in and especially on the sides because that's the part that is that the um, brownies will stick to the most is the sides so once you run it your Crisco 
along the sides. And you have that nice big glop. So your pan should have like the Crisco in it. And I did it on the sides and I did a little bit more than I normally do. Okay, so I'm just going to give this one more quick whip. What I'm going to do is, now because I'm putting this in the sink, I'm going to lick this. Mm. Nothing like brownie batter. And then you want to have a spatula on um, right. I'm just you're gonna just gonna. Ew! I got Crisco on my nail. Crisco's tasty when it's like cooked and everything. And my iPod just falls. But on your nail now. And then you're just gonna take your bowl and dump it. And don't worry about how it goes. Look at that brownie batter cascading. And just take your spatula. And if you're like me, you're going to want to lick the spatula and everything once you're done. So don't, like, wipe it completely clean. Leave some in there that you can still enjoy, but get most of it out. Brownie batter just went flying. Okay, so that's basically, that's good. I'm just going to... Because I'm not touching, I'm not handling raw ingredients. And the only reason why I like my finger. And then what I like to do is take this little, it's one of those smoothie things, and just kind of smooth the top. It's really for frosting, but I like to smooth out the top of it so it's really pretty looking. Just like so. And then there's also something else you can lick. Okay, well. My oven is still preheating. You want to make sure your oven sets to the right temperature. So once it's set, I'm going to stick it in my oven on the bottom rack. And because I'm using an 8x8 pan, it's going to be um, 40 to 50 minutes. Right? Yeah. 45 to 50 minutes. And I usually put it in for like 40, then I test them. And put them in for an additional 5 to 10 minutes. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys go make brownies of your own. Bye!